Here are the chapter tasks for February and March. Make sure your local leadership training um, has a date set and um, a place um, and that all the leaders are aware of that and that they are required to go and that they um, the leaders are all signed up for national leadership training. What do you do if not all your leaders can make it to your chapter's local leadership training? Hopefully they can all come to local leadership training, but if you know, they're going to school somewhere. Um, maybe there's a, a chance that there's another chapter that's nearby where they're at. And we try to get them to go to local leadership training nearby where, you know, or um, some places there are other chapters reasonably close anyway to each other. Some chapters, there's nothing anywhere near us. Um, there is a video on the CISV Jack's um, YouTube channel that's called LLT and um, I think it's CISV LLT and and in a last resort we'll use that video uh, for local leadership training um, especially if we have a, a leader come in late after local leadership training is already over. So on the CISV Jacksonville YouTube channel there is a video that is 37 and a, almost 38 minutes long it's called CISV Local Leadership Training LLT dash USA. If you get into a, a predicament where you have people that need to be trained and have missed everybody's local leadership training and missed yours, this is a way to give them the flavor of all of it and the content. And they really do need to go through the manual and be able to read some of this stuff on their own since they weren't there in person. And don't forget that you need to have your junior counselors and your seminar campers attend local leadership training as well. Once you've done your notice of selection, in other words, telling your delegates who's been selected and your parents and sending in the notice of selection forms to the national office, it's time to get the families and the delegates ready to go. So how do you do that? Uh, well, again, I only have the experience from uh, one chapter, but what people, first of all, we put out a new parent orientation or parent guide, parent handbook, the parent handbook, I should know, right? <laughs> I'll put it together. Uh, and that gives you a really good guide as to uh, what to do and how to do it for, for a parent guide. At this orientation session, you want to first give the families an ex an idea of what to expect, some chronology about how things get done, that there'll be meetings, there will be um, ex some certain expectations of the group, and th the forms, you give them a, an idea of what forms are going to be needed, and when. You can go through the parent orientation handbook at this parent orientation, and that kind of gives a good overview of everything. We also have people come up and talk about volunteering. We have people come up and talk about the financial aspect of it. Um, you know, and, and it's really a great orientation, which is really mandatory for all the new, well, it's for everybody traveling, but especially the new parents. I also think it's important to cover some of the risk management issues. A lot of parents have questions about safety at these parent orientation meetings. So it's helpful to have your risk manager there so they can address some of those questions. We take um, the safety of these children very seriously and they need to know that and they need to be reassured. Local leadership training should not only be considered for your leaders and your JCs that will be going to programs, but it's also an opportunity for parents who just want to have an idea of what's going on and how to see ISV work. They would learn a lot by going, and some chapters invite everybody to come, and it costs you nothing to have another person or 10 more people show up. And even if they can't stay the whole day, they get a little bit of knowledge and they get a little bit more comfortable with what CISV is. So a lot of chapters host a mini camp in the spring and some chapters host them at different times. This is not sp for selection or for any other purpose, but just to have local programming and give, give kids a chance to go to a local program, give more kids a chance to be leaders and to develop 
the activities that will happen at the camp and to get we're, we are trying to build leaders and this gives them more opportunities to use those skills. Of course, if you have programs that you're not filling, February 15th is the date they need to be turned back in. And this year in CISV, we instituted a new plan for how to place the programs that got returned. And it is a mock football pool that's done virtually online with all chapters having a representative call in to the call. And the same way the process works where your chapter is called when it gets to your turn, you can either accept or decline the invitation. And when it comes to a program that you're interested in having, you accept. If it's not one you're interested in, you decline and you wait until the program comes up that you might want. And if there's an opportunity, you, you grab it. So I know that some chapters wait for international programs to be turned back in from chapters outside of the USA, and then they get offered to the USA as additional programs. So how do you go about that if you have extra delegations that there were no programs? When, when might you expect them to come back? Well, this year they were combined with the chapters, with the programs that the chapters in the U.S. returned to our office. And if there were additional invitations that were received from in international, that was placed in this aftermarket telephone football pool. Occasionally, yeah. there are um, additional invitations that are issued later, and that can even be in March, April, in May. 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 Yeah, we've received some in May, too, I know, which is, you know, well, kind of late, but some kids are able to take advantage of that. March is a busy time for the treasurer as well. This is when the treasurer is sending out the bills to the uh, delegates who will be traveling, but they're also getting all of the financial information together for the audit. Um, also, this is uh, typically when chapters will recruit members for membership, and um, many chapters include that in the bill to the traveling delegations, but you also need to have a plan for recruiting your past members whose children may not be traveling. Another thing that's really important in March, which you should be talking about in February, is chapter development and all of us host chapter developments. We really want you to show up and come to our chapter development training because it's so much fun. Also, the more people you bring to chapter development, the more volunteers you're going to have in your chapter to do things. It's a lot of fun. We cover a lot of information. These, uh, this information we're talking about today uh, really is just a little bit about of what we do during chapter development. It's held in different locations around the country. It's paid for by CISV USA. Uh, so please take advantage of chapter development. It's really so fun. The other thing that happens at chapter development is the kids, um, the JBs. JB, they all come and have their own chapter development. And that's serious training. It is not activities or activity based. It's really for the older JBers because it's really sitting down and getting training in. It's also extremely effective, really great, and it's done by JB leadership. And it's required for your upcoming JB presidents. And it's also required that your JB comes because they can't vote for the next potential um, leadership of JB USA if they don't send somebody to training. That was a motion that was passed by JB USA. It's ideal to send your upcoming local JB representative, otherwise known as LJR, and any others who may become LJRs who have an interest in it. Likewise, it's really important to send your president-elect uh, from the adult board to chapter development and other volunteers who are just interested, who show an interest in general and don't even have a role because when they come back, they're going to take a role. I might be biased, but it's so much fun. It's also great networking. And if you're in Ohio and you heard a great idea from somebody in Miami, then you have somebody to pick up. You can pick up the phone and call or send an email and you know the person. And it's just really great networking and 
exchange of ideas and best practices and and it's fun so please come we'd love to meet you so if you want your kids to be involved in something and in this case CISV you need to get involved they will follow your lead if they see you being active and being a leader they're going to want to be a leader as well So if your chapter is planning to do a mosaic, there's no one particular time to be planning or executing it. So this is something to think about at every time of year. JB activities need to be ongoing throughout the year. So make sure that they are happening. It's very common in chapters that are gung-ho and getting it, um, the group together every month, and then somehow it slides off in the springtime. So it's a good thing for the adult leadership to be looking at whether they're continuing to get together.